Hi, I'm Tom Shu, and today we're going to continue on with our On One Portraiture 2 videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to control where the softening is being applied. You know, there's three areas there's skin retouching, color correction, and the uh, mouth and eyes. So let's focus on skin retouching. Let's zoom in to 100%, and you can see that if we turn it on and off, you'll see that their skin softening is being applied automatically, and sometimes it doesn't get it right because it's applying it to the hair. For quick small stuff on the web it works fine but when you're doing your finished work you want to make sure that you do not apply softening to hair. So let's go back here to fit and if you look at this over here it says add to skin and not skin. Okay, You can paint where you don't want it to apply but you really don't know where you're applying that. If you come down here to this drop down menu and you put red mask up it gives you a great indication of where it is you're applying things. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into 100% again. I'm use the space bar to grab my hand tool. And you can size the brush by dragging back and forth here. Or you can use your bracket keys. I like to use the bracket key inside Lightroom. And we're just going to paint in here and remove the softening. Basically mask out this area of the hair and don't let it apply it. Skin softening to the hair. I'm also going to do it to the uh, the eyebrow area. So I'm going to grab my bracket key, my left bracket key, and just paint in there. It does a good job of masking out the skin so you don't have to be critically close. And We don't got to get it all, just a majority. Uh, also, we don't want it applied to the teeth. So I'm going to bracket up a little bit here and remove it from the teeth. Okay, when we're done, we'll just come down here and click after and it will remove that overlay. And when we do before and after, you can see that the sharpening is not, the softness is not applied to the hair, whereas before it was. Okay, so there's some other things you might want to touch while you're in here. If you come here and grab this tool, this is a blemish removal tool. Okay, you can take blemishes and just quickly knock them out. This is as fast as the uh, option inside Photoshop for those that don't use Photoshop so we can also remove things like moles I'm not going to take the one off of her her face because that's like a beauty mark and that's an identifying mark of her see if you sometimes you get a little mark after you remove something just apply it again and it will just soften that area up okay so that's how you control where your softening is being applied. Whoa, let's back that off. I hit the wrong button. That's it. The next video will cover some more things like dealing with the shine in the face and color corrections. I want to thank you for taking time to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.